I'm going to show you step by step on how you can copy trade with BitGet. But before I do though, I first want to say a couple of things. The first is that if you don't already have an account with BitGet by chance, I'll leave a sign up link in the video description where you can save 20% on your trade fees. The second is that if you're unsure of how to fund BitGet in Canada, check out this step by step tutorial video that I had made. I'll leave the link to the video in the video description. The last is that if you're unsure of what copy trading is, it's basically what the name suggests. You're copying a trader's trades. You'll be entering and exiting trades at the same time. Is it risky and can you lose money? Yes, of course, it's risky and you can definitely lose money. That's why you'll want to limit the amount that you put in. Only put money in that you're okay with potentially losing. With all that said, let's get started. So right now I'm on BitGet's homepage. I'm then going to go over here and hover over trade and then copy. And then for myself, because I want spot copy trading, I would select this. They do offer futures copy trading, but I'm just going to select like this one here. From here, it's going to list out a bunch of different traders who you can copy. It's going to give you a brief summary profile of that particular trader. So as an example, if we look at this one over here, it'll tell you the person's username, the number of people who are following this person out of the total max slots, the 30 day ROI, their total PNL, their copiers PNL, the assets under management, and the number of copiers that this trader has had all time. Over here are the coins that this person's trading. And this is the frequency of the trades that this person makes on a daily basis. And over here, this 10% refers to how much of your profit you're going to have to pay to this person for copying this person's trade. Now, let's just say I'm interested in copying this person's trade or interested in learning more about them. I would then click on this person's profile. And then down over here, you can get a better idea of their ROI, their total profit, their asset allocation or what they put their money in, their position duration and their trading volume. Now, let's just say that you've looked through this trader's profile and you like what you see. To copy this person, you would then click on copy. Now over here, it lists out all the coins that this trader is trading. By default, you'll copy all of these coins that the trader is trading. Now you can change it up by clicking on edit and then actually selecting the coins that you're interested in copying. I'm going to exit out of that. They even have an advanced mode where if you toggle it, you can allocate a certain amount for that particular coin that this person is trading. So as an example for this one here, you can limit it to a certain amount or even put in minimums. But let's just say I want to copy this trader as is, so I'm just going to unselect this. The next thing that you would need to do is select either fixed amount or multiplier. Fixed amount means that you're entering this fixed amount per trade. As an example, if I were to enter in 10 over here, what this means is that each trade will be 10 USD regardless of the amount that the trader enters. This can be good and bad as you're limiting your risk, but also the reward. If the trader bets big and makes money, then it's bad for you because your amount is fixed. On the flip side though, if the trader bets big and loses money, then it's good for you because you've limited your loss. Now over here for multiplier, it means that you're going to multiply the amount bought by a factor. Now, if I were to enter in five over here, as an example, for every 0.1 BTC that the trader buys, you're going to buy five times that or 0.5 BTC. This can be good if the trader makes the right call on a trade, but not so much if he or she makes the wrong call as your loss will be somewhat magnified. For myself, I'll just select fixed and enter in 10 USD to reduce my risk. Now, as you can see, I've right now got 150 50 USDT in my spot wallet. The full 150 USDT will be used to copy this trader's trades. The next thing is risk management. When you select it, you can enter in your stop loss ratio, your take profit ratio, and maximum copy. Now for myself, I'm going to leave all of this here alone because that somewhat defeats the purpose of copy trading. I want to copy the trader. I want to enter and exit when the trader does as well. I have 
have, however, seen instances where some traders have practically lost all their money. So if you're worried about this, then you may want to put a stop loss in. But mind you, that was in the futures market though. So I'm going to close this over here. And the last thing over here is auto copy. I'll leave this on because again, I'd like to auto copy the new trading pairs of whatever it is that this trader puts on. So I'm going to then select next. And when I do, it'll give me the details of what I'm copying. I'm okay with it. I'm going to click on confirm. And just like that, I'm now copying the trades of this trader. Now to cancel copying this trader, what you're going to do is go over here and select edit. And then just as you can see over here, you can then click on stop copying and then it'll give you this confirmation. And if you click on confirm, you're now no longer copying this trader. So that's how you can start copying traders on BitGet. Hope you learned something and thanks for watching.